Hello everyone, I'm Miss Freegen. This is IB Theater, welcome. I'm sorry I can't be here with you in person tonight. I'm currently directing A Streetcar Named Desire down at the Little Theater of Alexandria and I'm in technical rehearsals as we open this Saturday. Um, but uh, I hope you're having a great time tonight and I just want to go over a little bit this handout which kind of details uh, the highlights of this course. Um, some of you may know uh, if you've had a senior uh, this year that um, IB is changing curriculums. So my seniors are finishing the curriculum that they started last year um, while my juniors are doing something new. Uh, that may sound confusing, but basically here's the difference. They're learning all the same material with the exception of one unit, uh, but they're being tested on it differently. They're being asked to do different uh, what we call assessment tasks. So their projects are different, uh, but they're able to work in class collaboratively um, on our experimentation. Um, we're starting this year off with masked theater. Hopefully uh, your students have been coming home and saying something good about it. Uh, we've been studying Greek theater um, and uh, our students just finished staging um, dithrams, uh, so they have gotten up and experimented with that. And then uh, in a week uh, or in a couple weeks we'll begin Commedia, which is um, very fun, very physical, um, very comical. Uh, from there, we're going to go over some lighting and sound, and uh, we're very fortunate this year. I, I'm able to bring in some um, teaching artists, master teachers, to come in and do some workshops. Um, Ms. Slocum, who is uh, doing uh, this presentation with you today, uh, is one of them. She's going to come in and talk with students about uh, design, and she will be here on Friday to talk about Greek theater. Um, I've ha brought in Randy Snight from Synetic. Uh, to do some physical theater and mask work with the kids and he came in on the second day of school and he'll be back next week. Um, Mrs. Bautista is going to come in and help with lights and sound. We have Mark Jaster who's going to come in and talk about uh, play development um, and several other people throughout the course of the year. That's just to name a few. Um, so like I said, the next unit after lights and sound is uh, play development and um, that's our 24-hour play festival. It satisfies um, requirements for both juniors and seniors in terms of what they have to do for their assessments. Um, so they'll be working collaboratively in groups to devise an original piece of theater um, that they'll be able to prepare, design, uh, decide how they're going to rehearse it in class, and then they do the actual rehearsal um, and performance over February 13th and 14th. So it's a very wham-bam kind of experience. Um, after that, in uh, February, we're going to be going over two different theater practitioners, um, Ann Bogart and um, the Suzuki Method. Um, from there, the students will sort of divide up uh, um, and work on different portfolio tasks that they have to do for their assessments, um, but it, that will be done mostly in class. If they don't finish, they have to work outside of class. Um, and then, um, while my seniors are working toward the end of the year on their um, TPPPs, which is a comprehensive discussion and analysis of what they've learned over the two years in IB. My juniors are going to be working on um, their task three assignment, which is, um, or I'm sorry, task two, which is a director's book. They'll uh, will go through a practice round um, with one script all together, so that they have the idea of how to break down a script um, and what exactly what IB is looking for. And then next year they'll have to pick a script and do their own. Um, and then uh, juniors over the course of the whole year, um, juniors and seniors have a research project. The seniors started it last year and their project is to write a paper. Um, and they'll, they'll have finished that um, by November. Um, so this year the juniors, their research project is um, to, to do a workshop and we'll be working on that throughout the whole course of the year. But the last unit is for the juniors to present those workshops to the class. Um, there's a couple of other things on this sheet I want to go over. There is a, lo a heavy course load, I'm sorry, workload for this course. Um, IB is, uh, is like an AP course, it's very advanced um, and it requires students to have homework every night. Um, part of that is either journaling, uh, watching a flipped lesson on my website, which I will show you in a moment, um, or, or reading. Uh, the reason I, I've given them so much homework is so that we can spend most of class time on our feet actually doing things and discussing things rather than having them listen to a lecture of me. Uh, so far though they've, they've been pretty positive as to what the homework is so I'm trying to make it and engaging for them. Um, I don't accept late work. This is very much because IB's deadlines are very strict and so 
um, I try and give students as much time with, uh, with a little room in case I need to give them a couple days extension. Um, however, each of them has in their syllabus a late assignment pass. So they have, um, if they turn that in whenever something is due, uh, one time only though, they get a one week extension on it. So that's a pretty nice piece. Um, the gradebook policy is pretty standard. It's exactly what everybody else should be doing at the school. Um, I want to just talk one moment about the uh, requirement to see professional shows. Um, IB's new focus is very much on students seeing professional work. Um, so they have the experience of being an audience member and kind of broadening their horizons. Um, I'm going to be able to make that possible for students and take them on some trips. We're only allowed one field trip. Um, hopefully each of you got the letter I sent home the first day of school. But um, I'm asking students to see two professional shows throughout the course of the whole year. We'll take four trips, including our in-school um, permission, I'm sorry, field trip, um, as long as we get permission from the school to do that. I haven't had a problem in the past. Uh, but our first trip is uh, Sunday, um, September 21st. We're going to a 2 p.m. showing of Sunday in the Park with George at um, Signature Theater in Arlington. Uh, so if you have any questions about that, you can send me an email. Um, it should be up on the portal as well. Speaking of the portal, let me direct you there right now. So this is our class portal page, and um, I'm going to direct you to the calendar button. You can see um, I've gone ahead and have several assignments already. I'm trying to upload um, all the assignments per each unit up on the portal um, at the beginning of each unit. So um, that gives students a good overview. As you can see, the first day of school, I went over this with the students. And you can see already next week, a week from today, seniors have something due for their RI. So um, that kind of gives them a really good idea of future planning and hopefully will help their time management. Uh, the other web page I want to share with you is my class uh, WordPress uh, blog gcibtheater.wordpress.com and this um, is a resource for students um, and as well as a place where I will upload videos and flipped lessons um, and other resources for students that uh, you can see they have a little journal blog prompt. Um, they also have their own uh, journals that they're keeping on blogs and um, they have to journal at least once a week on whatever we're doing in class. I'm going to try and give you another um, little look at what's going on. So we've got video. Um, we have some articles. And there will be videos of the students and their work. I haven't uploaded them yet um, on here as well. So if you ever have a question about what we're doing in class and you want to see, this is a great resource to do that. Now the last website I want to direct your attention to is our club website, the gctheater.org website. Um, it is not a requirement for students in this class to work on the extracurricular productions. However, they do receive significant extra credit for doing so um, and some extra credit for going to see things. Uh, we do have three opportunities throughout the course of the year. We've already had auditions for our fall play, which some of your students are in, um, but we are still looking for tech crew and those interviews come up this Thursday. Um, Secondly, um, we have our 24-hour play festival, which my um, upper-level classes are putting together a series of plays, um, and they need actors to be a part. Students who participate have to be free and available after school on February 13th, 2015, um, and all day t February 14th, 2015, because that's when we do the performance. So they rehearse all day and all night, um, and they perform the following night. So it's, that's a great opportunity. And the last thing I will talk to you about is the musical, which is going to be Hairspray. And auditions for that should be coming up in November. Um, and that's pretty much it. You all at this point should be pros on whether students have to participate in extracurriculars or not. They don't, uh, but they do get a lot of extra credit for doing that. Um, I've listed my extra credit opportunities here. If you ever need me, email's the best way, freegen at olgchs.org. Um, I, I do have a phone number, but I rarely check, so please, please, please email me if you want me. Um, and that's it. I, I, just, by the way, if you bring your student out to see uh, Streetcar Named Desire, I'll give them 10 points of extra credit for making the trip down to Alexandria. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your night, and uh, see you later.